My growth in the door-to-door -door industry was, to be honest, very slow. I was a sales rep, then a sales manager, then a sales regional, then a sales executive. But it took me 15 years to be able to do that and I could have done it much faster. And there was really just one thing that bottlenecked that progression. I'll share with you my growth story in the industry and see if you can figure out what that one thing is. When I signed up to go do door-to-door -door sales, I had very low ambition. I was broke at that point. I was really just trying to get about $15,000 in a four month period to be able to fix my car, pay off a little bit of debt and prepay some of my expenses. That was it. Now I got a phone call though, um, early into my second year doing sales from a leader within my organization. And he said, Adam, I've been watching you. I've been looking at your stats. I've been checking in with your manager to see how you're doing. I believe that you are somebody that could perform at the highest level. I believe you could be in the top 1% of the sales force. And I believe you can make six figures doing this job in a four month summer period. And I finished that conversation empowered and with a bigger vision for myself. Because here was someone that I respected telling me that they actually thought I was capable of more than I at that time thought I was capable of. Their vision for me was bigger than mine. But I adopted their vision and it changed everything for me. I began acting like a top 1% performer, thinking and feeling and behaving and selling like a top 1% performer. And it didn't take long for me to become a top 1% performer because that was my internal belief that I had for myself. But that's where my progression stopped. I saw myself as a top tier sales rep, but I didn't see myself as a team leader, as a manager. That was for the guy that I reported to. He was the manager, I was just the top sales rep. And so I stayed a top sales rep for many years, about five years or so. When circumstances forced a new opportunity on me. The owner of the company where I was at wound up having a conversation with me and very similar to the one that I had with a different leader, this owner said, hey Adam, I actually believe that you're somebody that would thrive as a sales leader. I believe that if you were in a role where you could duplicate your success in other people, you would do well at that. You'd be an awesome manager. And around this time too, the team I was on had grown big and needed to split and there was a new market that they wanted sales reps to go to. And so I was told that I should go take that opportunity and I had a new vision thrust upon me by someone that I respected. And after that conversation, I saw myself in a new light. I thought maybe I would be effective as a sales manager. In fact, yeah, I know I would be. I'm, I'm great with people. I care about people. I want to help other people be successful and I've been successful. So I adopted this new vision for myself and guess what? I did amazing as a sales manager. I created success in other people and I ran a top team and I doubled my income and it was awesome. But that was where my vision stopped. I didn't see myself as a regional manager, like someone that ran multiple teams. That was the guy that I reported to, but I didn't see myself that way. And so for another five years or so, I stayed as a top performing sales manager until circumstances forced me to change. I actually had two leaders within my, my big team that just butted heads. They couldn't even be in the same room together. And I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? Cause I'm gonna go run this big team this summer and there's just constant conflict and discord. This is so unhealthy and toxic. And I had the idea to take the team and split it in two and let each of them run their half with their recruits and my recruits and do two teams. So I emailed my company, I said, hey, here's how I'm structuring it. We're all going to the same market. We're gonna meet in the same commercial building, but I'm just gonna have two teams in the system. And one will meet at 11, one will meet at 12, and I'll go to both the meetings and oversee it. And they said, okay, cool. And I said, make each of these guys the manager of team A and team B. And they said, well, we, you can't be a manager and have managers under you in our system, in our CRM. I said, well, what, what would be the solution? They said, well, we would just make you a regional manager. I said, oh, okay. And then I looked on our CRM, on our dashboard, and there it was, 
Adam Webb, regional manager. And that was the first time I had ever internalized that thought of me being a regional manager. And it sounds so silly in hindsight as I say it, that that would be the case and that a clerical change in a CRM would be the thing that would get me thinking about myself that way, but it was. But when I saw it and I started seeing myself that way for the first time and adopting the vision of regionally managing, my mindset shifted. I started acting like a regional manager, thinking like a regional manager, behaving like a regional manager. And sure enough, I thrived as a regional manager. I doubled my income again. I made incredible money. I was able to lead leaders and take it to the next step. And so the process continues. Hopefully by now you see the central theme that the only person that was limiting my progression was me. And I was doing it with limiting self beliefs about myself and refusing to internalize a bigger vision and accept the reality that I was capable of far more than I was currently doing. So my question to you would be, in what ways are you inadvertently limiting yourself? What vision are you refusing to adopt? What potential do you have that is absolutely attainable that you refuse to accept? And the next question would be why? Why not let yourself dream big? Why not let yourself think big? Why not internalize a bigger vision that will allow you to go accomplish more? So learn from my mistakes. The smart people learn from their own mistakes, but the wisest people learn from the mistakes of others. I made the mistake and I didn't realize I was doing it for over a decade, but I made the mistake of limiting myself with small vision. Don't make that same mistake. Dream big because I can promise you everyone that has achieved this phenomenal level of success that you look up to, if you rewind far enough, you will find someone just like you.